So we, this is about two weeks now since we're doing the distraction for this craniofacial patient. She had Crouzon syndrome. She already had a couple of surgeries earlier and this is like a revision left for three. First time with us. We're using a transfacial pinning as you can see. Gone in from one mala bone, K wire, two mm thick, comes out from the other side. We're distracting it, both the sides. This is onto the cranium. So then this is the distractor of Pellerin, who is a very famous craniofacial surgeon based out of Lead in France. Now, this is the pre-op. You can see the improvement that we've got for her. Her mom already says that she has great improvements in her breathing, in her sleeping. The two primary reasons for getting this done apart from aesthetics. Now, these distractors are just there for two weeks. They're going to be there for at least four more months or three months once we finish the distraction. You can see different views. She's a very cooperative girl as you can see and you can see that there's an increase in the length, the whole proportion and the side view. Look at that face now. So the entire face beneath the eyes, the lower border of the eye, the nose and the lips have all come forward. So we were overcorrecting this because we want to make sure and this is the scar from her earlier surgery which I said which she had done elsewhere but didn't work out well. So this is a revision left for three craniofacial disjunction and distraction. You can see that? Right. Beautiful. Kannada? Kannada. Close pen? Okay. Pair sole? That's a bit too much. He doesn't talk. He put Valikida on Panata Villa. He little like the Valikida. Let's understand the motor Valikida. Panata Villa Valikida. Uh, so she's having slight pain only on the left side when we're not distracting otherwise she doesn't have pain but generally she's very comfortable very happy watching her games and movies and videos on her cell phone maybe. all right thank you